Welcome, this is the energy vibration reading for the sun, moon, and rising Tauruses. I want to say Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Thank you for the support. Thank you for supporting my channel. Welcome back. Um, old subscribers, new subscribers, I want to thank you so much. Please continue to leave your messages behind. Um, thank you so, so much for the wonderful positive energies that is coming out from you guys. I want to say to each and every one, um, please remember to um, contribute or donate to people situations whatever is happening because we all need uh, support at some times of our life if we help somebody today then tomorrow someone else will help us okay it's going to be um a wonderful month of december for you guys the energy vibration in december is the energy of the hair the energy of the hair brings new beginning this is this deck that i'm using because i'm using several deck but the main deck that i'm using it is the snowland deck and this is good it's a christmas deck so okay um let's look and see what is going on for you guys in this month and um, we are using an extra, uh, yeah, this deck has the form of using um, the energy um, to see whatever is going to take place for you guys. This is wonderful. I love using this deck. It's one of the most um, positive decks ever. So we are going to see um, what is the energy vibration for you, Taurus, in this month. And we have the energy of... Uh, the nurturing of the materialistic things so this is a very positive energy the nurturing of the materialistic things so what you're going to find out is that you are going to find yourself nurturing and protecting your um, materialistic possession and this is going to be positive so whatever is happening for you in this month of december it's going to be a very good month um, whatever you need whatever materialistic things your christmas your new year's uh, um, whatever you're celebrating your birthdays uh, um, no not birthdays <laughs> but whatever you're celebrating um, in this month is going to be positive you're going to receive that help that you need we are working with Archangel Raphael in this month. Um, I'm changing up the readings because I'm getting back my angels in the readings and that sort of a thing. Archangel Raphael is the healer of your financial situation. He's also a, um, a healer. So um, if you are having medical situation and that sort of a situation, call upon Archangel Raphael. He is going to come in and help you towards whatsoever is happening in your life. So this is going to be good. As you have realized, I'm changing up the pattern of the readings and especially the monthly readings are going to be so much different because I'm focusing um, more on you as um, a zodiac sign that I'm reading and this is going to be um, so much different um, I change up the pattern every time the energy of Archangel Raphael comes in in this month it's going to be a very positive month because I'm seeing positive energy you have the energy of the star you have the energy of the Sun and um, whatever um, deception um that as deception and envy you begin the month with deception and envy but um you're going to see the month clearing up as you move on okay so this is going to be um a month where your materialistic things are going to be balanced out you have no need to worry about whatever is happening whatever deception whatever hate whatever lies that has been told whatever people have been stolen from you at the end of the day you're going to win this war that is going on around you because it's as if for you um earth sign people the energies that are out there you know it's just unbelievable let's see what the unicorn have to say for you guys because i'm doing two unicorn because the month of december is a very positive month um it's it's a month where um situations are coming in you have the energy of pegasus coming in for you guys so love in this month and the energy of the unicorn is pegasus this is wonderful whenever pegasus comes in he wants to heal your heart chakra so again your material things and your heart chakra shall be healed because it is a month of the hair the hair is bringing in new beginnings for everyone and this is going to be good so let's go ahead and look to see whatever is happening in your month of december and i'm turning the cards so you can see the cards properly okay 
so here we go let's go right in month of december has four weeks we begin the month with the energy vibration of water emotion and then the second week we have the energy of fire and the third week we have the energy of fire the fourth week we are going to have the energy of water so if you look at this month is really a month of transformation it's um, clearing out that which you no longer need and this is a month of new beginnings okay so you're hindering the year and by clearing out what you no longer need and um, bringing in a new beginning so let's look at your first week what is going to happen you have the energy of the sin um, 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 this is uh, the and 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 an envy so a lot of you Taurus have been working with this energies with other people around you deception and envy and a lot of earth sign people have been um, dealing with this deception and envy some of you could be the one who is deception and envy but no it's in reverse form so it has to do with all the people who are deceptive deceptive and envy us towards who you are because they are jealous of what you have and this is why Pegasus come in to help you heal your art chakra and to help you to heal whatever it is that is going on around you you have the five of uh, of um, the five of the red which the five of the red in this card deck it is the energy of conflicts with other people you and the, you know the conflicts with other people is because they're de deceptive and envious of you and you have realized that and you stand your girl and stand up and say this is not happening okay so this is good because in the first week you finally as an earth side stand up and as the Taurus who you are decided that this deception and envy is going to be over because I am the one who work hard to bring myself to the point and where I am and if you do not like that that is not my problem it is your problem and this is so good because you're standing up and at the end of the day you have the energy of the star and I say to you Tauruses go I am so grateful that you finally stood up to all these deception and envy that is going on around you. You know, the worst thing of all is that we earth sign people, we work very hard. We are here to help the other people with their energy vibration and clearing. And you know, whenever someone is deceptive and envy of who you are because of, uh, you know, the time that they spend to be deception and envious uh, against you, they could be further in their life to make their life as positive as your life. So you go, you got the star as at the end result in this week, and it's a wonderful week. Stand up to whoever is working against you. And, you know, especially when you don't know these people and you have never seen these people in your own entire life and people try to stand up and work against you I am saying go kudos to you Tauruses go for it because you're going to come out on top so first week it's going to be a good wonderful week you have broken down the deceptive and envy and you came out with the energy of the star and the energy of the star what this is saying is that as you ask whatever situation you're in and as you ask the universal angels and guide to for divine intervention it is always going to work out in the second week you have the energy of the sacred chakra the energy of the sacred chakra and I need you to write this down to see if you can remember because the sacred chakra I call upon Archangel Metatron to place you in that only um, bubble of angelical light and I'm going to tell you what is the sound to heal um, your sacred chakra it is in the upright position so because of you have that deceptiveness uh, uh, deception and envy that was going around um, it's going to teach you how you can heal this is um, the second chakra in this deck it's uh, the second chakra in this deck and it the color is orange the call upon Archangel Metatron to place the coat of orange around you in the second week the sound is a vim vim v-a-m so just 
I'm constantly doing that vroom, 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 vroom. the element is water so try and drink a lot of water in this week the glands is the testicle and the ovaries for the women so the men have the testicles and the ovaries for the women and the key word is saying I want I want so this is going to be wonderful for you guys so remember the sound is V A M and you keep on saying it just three times vum 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 make sure and then as we move on we have the energy of the sun so this is good this is good you Tauruses go Tauruses the energy of the sun comes out the sun is powerful it's wonderful it's good um, because you have overcome the deception and envy in the first week and you end the, you end the week with the energy of the star because you stand up to something that was injustice that was happening to you and you stood up to this the, um, injustice and you are now need to heal your sacred chakra because whenever people are working against you and is forming negative energies against you you need to um, re-energize your sacred chakra and you can use a verm and axe archangel metatron to paste the orange coat of protection around you the energy of the sun comes out and here we have also the energy of people talking about you because you stand up to something that was of injustice so whatever is happening around you in this month you are going to come out on top you Tauruses because what is happening is that you stood up for something that was injustice you stand up for towards people who are deceitful liars and envious and at the end of the first week you had a star you begin the week to heal yourself in the second week the Sun comes out which is bringing you um, success so whatever you're planning in the second week do it go for it uh, do it don't, uh, no matter what these people are saying because they have realized that uh, um, you have overpowered them and you know and you have overpowered them because you have positivity you st you send out positivity from out your energy because you're an earth sign person so you work with the energy vibration so whatever is happening here it can be good news uh, and people are talking about you but they realize that they you have defeat them in whatsoever envious and deceitful thing that we were, uh, were planning you have um, broken that away and now you're finding yourself and you're coming back so whatever that was happening um, th with this envious and jealousy um, this you know you have broken that down in the first week and um, positive energy is coming out there is going to be a lot of conversation for some people if you're thinking about starting something in the second week if you're thinking about doing something in the second week go ahead it's going to be good the second week and the first week if even because the envy and jealousy is turned down in the first week so you have two um, good um, weeks we're moving on to the energy of the third week energy of the third week you have conflict confliction and deceitful and uh, confliction and deceit so whatever the conflict and deceit was there was something that was stolen but you're going to receive something that is even much better okay so um, the conflict and defeat is from the first week that you were working on this thing you are the conflicts is there because the conflicts was in the second week in the third week it is coming out and you're going to see that whatsoever that was stolen from you or what um, people try to steal from you you're going to see that this energy is going to bring you something that is much better something that is much positive in your life because you have the energy of the lily the energy of the lily is a very very wonderful positive energy because um, the energy of the lily is saying that your guides and angels are going to bring you something that is very much so positive than what you had before because you need to understand that at this time there is so much hate and jealousy and deceitfulness that is going on you as an earth side person has to be grounded and has to stand up against this thing and remember that you are governed through the energy of the the um the the air event and the air event is group of people organization and that sort of a thing and what is happening here is that 
um, because of the deceptiveness and the envy that was going on and you've broken that down whatever that has transpired you are going to come out of this conflicts and what was stolen you are going to receive something much better from the universe so you know this is a week and it's the week of christmas and um it's funny because you see the energy of um santa claus here um <laughs> of santa claus here so um um, you know think about the Santa Claus as your spirit guides bringing back something that was stolen um, from you and he's bringing you something that is much better it's it's such a funny thing because there is someone else that, you know looking out the energy of the lily is always a wonderful thing the energy of the lily has um, positive energy and because this is a general reading and it is the monthly reading um, you can see the focus that something much better the universe is going to provide you with something much better okay we are moving to the fourth and last week this is a wonderful energy um this is the energy of uh, the spiritual side because um the purple i'm using these deck this week um for your ground um balance and you have uh, the energy of uh, partnership uh, partnership and alliance partnership and alliance so because you stood up of the injustice and because you stand for what is right you are going to find out that there is a lot of partnership a lot of people who are going to be connecting with you and want to um, bring forth new alliance in your life and this is going to be good because these people are going to realize that you know you stand up for something you uh, refuse to go to to, to um, deal with um, the energy vibration of lower energy which is um, doing things that was not right and you stood up to it and kudos to you all because um, this is a very much positive you have invariance and that means debt and transformation this debt and transformation is coming in because it's going to be very positive whatever um, that is ending and the conflicts that are there something new and beautiful is going to be coming out because as you can see there is a lot of conflicts that is coming out so um, the partnership and alliances uh, um, it could be the ending of relationships, could be ending of uh, jobs, it could be ending of situations in your life. But with this ending, it's going to come in new beginnings and these new beginnings are going to be very positive so whatever that has transpired you know it could be the ending because alliances partnership and alliances this have to do with business this has to do with work situation and this sort of a things and whatever it is that you stood up the injustice for you are going to find out that some people are not going to be liking that and it's going to be ending certain aspect in your life but it's good because it's time for a transformation so in the last week it's the ending of the year so you're getting rid of the people that no longer serve you the things that no longer serve you and um, this is good to you know don't look at this as because the the, the the two first weeks are going to be your best weeks and why these are going to be your best week is because whatever that was happening the whole time from your birthday coming down you have transpired and at the end of the day you're going to have a lot of luck coming into you this is the energy of the clove because and a lot of luck is going to bring balance this luck is going to bring balance in your life because you stand up to something that was um so injustice and you stood up for it so this is good As we look at the energy of the star, um, you know, the energy of the star is coming up because, and a lot of people are there and it could be good conversation, it could be good things, it could be bad things because they realize that, you know, sometimes people think that some people are stupid or some people are not aware of certain aspects and they try to pull the wool over your hearts. And this is where it comes in where you saw the deception and the envy that was playing out and they tried to pull a wool over your eyes and with this you know you realize what was happening and you transform this in your life at the end of the day there's going to be a lot of conflicts because people are not going to be liking that you stood up for yourself because people don't like that people do not like when you stand up for yourself and decided that you um this is not what I am about 
and this is not going to happen to me so you know when you stand up um, against people and let them know that you know um, do not think that you can draw the wool over my eyes uh, then you are going to see um, that this uh, situation is going to be playing out in a very very good um, form um, a lot of luck will be coming into you because um, the people who are um, being positive and realize that you know something of injustice came out um, they are going to be you know supporting you in whatever is going on so this is good let's look to see um what is happening in your love life let's look at the first week um we have a judgment in the reverse form and um, so that means uh, you know everything is uh, um working out good um that means the angels and guides or surrounding and healing your relationship whatever relationship you are in if you're in a marriage your marriage is been ill at this time if you are in a long-term relationship this is ill because it's as if the universal angels and guides are coming in to heal your relationship in the first week let's look at your second week you have the energy of the king of pentacles that is yourself this is good so for you men you are going to make sure that your materialistic um, um you, you you are having what it needs to bring you out in this month and uh, um you're providing for your family this is good because uh, um you're feeling balanced um you men are feeling as if this is you know so wonderful so positive this is good i'm feeling this energy is coming in for me and i'm feeling this i am feeling well in um, my heart my heart chakra is been ill so they are you know you Tauruses are um, men whenever you love someone you love someone it doesn't really matter and especially when the time of Christmas or whatever holidays that come around you're always providing the best for your partner so this is good in love for you guys let's move on and see what's happening in the third week in love um, we have the energy of um, inner wisdom um, so for some people who are you know looking in, um, at their relationship and that sort of a thing you're trying to find a balance because it's Christmas everybody is meeting up you or you know really looking how far you have gone for some people who have no relationship and that sort of a thing it's like looking within why is it what is it that is blocking me what is it that I need to do how can I change myself in um, to have a better relationship in my life so you know these sort of things because it's a week of Christmas you're an earth sign person you're trying to find balance in you know your love life and you're looking for the inner wisdom within let's look at the fortune last week would love to see what is happening um, there is conflict there is uh, there's conflicts um, in relationship um, so but whatever is happening and this is so good the conflicts that you're having in a relationship it's going to be ill because you have the energy of the sun so whatever conflicts that is taking place in your relationship there is going to um the, the, the energy of the sun is going to come out so there is going to be healing coming into you and this is going to be extremely good so this is wonderful this is good so whatever the conflict is luck you have luck um, so a lot of luck in relationship um, it's going to come out which is going to be positive whatever the conflicts that was happening um, in because it was partnership and alignments and the debt and transformation so there is going to be ending in your love relationships for some people whatever the conflicts was there is going to be an ending to that conflicts and at the end of the day the sun energy comes out so that's mean that it's going to be yield because in each and every relationship um, people have conflicts if there's no conflicts in your relationship that means your relationship is not based on love it is based on the materialistic world and once the materialistic world is um, is good um, then there is no conflicts in a relationship so here you're seeing that there is a transformation that is going to be happening in your love life whatever the situation is whatever the conflicts that was going on in your love life the energy of the Sun comes out and it's going to be ill and there is luck coming in for you so you are ending the year of ending the conflicts and the energy of the Sun 
and this is good the energy of the sun for your love relationship and the energy of the sun for your energy vibration so this is positive and this is good this is going to bring um, a positive positive ending the sun uh, energy comes out so whoever or whatever that was influencing um, your love life or um, situation in your life you are going to um, overcome them you're going to remove them out of your life here we are we're going to look at the zodiac energy we have the energy of the sun and we have the energy of the moon so for the sun people the sun people are the people this is your rising sign the sun, the sun moon rising sign um energy for the month and the sun people are going to have to be dealing with let's see who the sun people they are going to be have to be dealing with the Sagittarians and you know you Tauruses and the Sagittarians it is a good sign it is a positive these Sagittarians and the Tauruses are good because the Sagittarians is half the, the the half of the bull so it's half of you so they understand you and then we have the energy vibration of Mars so a lot of people will be having situation with your career so okay let's go forward and let's um look at what is happening because you have um sagittarius and you have mars and you are and this is for the sun people the people who were born between 6 a.m and 6 p.m with the energy of a sagittarius um but the energy of a Sagittarius in your life that is saying a lot for you sun people because um, the sun people carrying the energy of Sagittarius is a, a powerful one because it lets your enthusiastic burns brighter and this you can see that you did that in the first week so for the sun people with Sagittarius in you know working with you it's going to let your enthusiastic burn brighter and that is what you showed in the first week and kudos to you guys because this is good you stand up to things that is in injustice and with the energy of mars and the sun you have control over how your energy is spent turn it towards goodwill not anger or revenge and this is exactly what you Tauruses did because you um actually in the, the two first week you turn your energy towards doing something good despite the deceive and envy that has happened to you um you turn it over to do something good instead of using it revengeful and angry and, and and with anger and this is extremely good so this is what for the sun people this is what mars came in to help you understand and to help you dealt with the energy of the sun it, it, it helps you to control you to help you to control over how you spend your energy and it's it, it helps you and teach you to turn it inwards towards goodwill and not to anger and revenge and this is good because you are like you know let me leave this let me you know don't deal with this but yet still move on and do something much better for um someone else instead of spending my energy um being angry and um use it to do something which is good okay so let's look at the moon energy and we are going to look at the moon energies and see a Sagitt the Sagittarius um, uh, Saturnus is coming up which is Saturnus is your sister um, planet and we have the Aquarius so you have Saturnus met Aquarius that is coming up and why I use these energy is because they they are powerful they gave you insight in certain aspects and certain things in your life and this is good because what is happening um with you um moon people with saturn with saturn in your your chart and saturn in taurus because i'm going to look first at saturn in taurus to see you know what is this it's finding the source in um, memories of a childhood so you're going to go back and look at um, what is affecting you from out of your childhood okay um, 
that is the moon energy in Taurus. It's going to, uh, you know, look at what is affecting you from out your childhood. And then you're going to go forward and then you are going to be looking at uh, um, the pattern of, 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 you know, Saturn. Saturn is moving out that which no longer serves you, which is very good. Um, it is a time when you release certain things, certain people, um, and this is this is actually good because what is happening is that you decided to walk away from certain things that no longer serve you. You decided I am not going to be vibrating with this energy because it no longer serves me, and I don't need to be experiencing this anymore because I have learned my lessons and I need this to be removed out of my life. So this is wonderful and. Some of you who have relationships with the Gemini's, some of you who have relationships with the Gemini's, you are going to be leaving them behind uh, with the Aquarius. I'm sorry. You're going to be leaving them behind whatsoever that has been happening um, for you guys. You're going to be leaving them with behind. Saturn in Taurus, don't let a steadfastness turn into stubbornness. Don't let steadfastness turn into stubbornness. So don't let steadfastness turn into stubbornness. It can happen. You don't need this to happen. You need to understand and balance out this situation, whatever is happening in your life. You need to have understanding and balancing out whatever is here. So I should say this is one of the most profound reading. This is good. I like this for you, Tauruses. I like you ending the um, and then the month on such positive notes. You have twice the energy of the sun in your love life. So whatever conflicts, whatever unbalance in your uh, relationships and um, your intimacy, relationships, intimacy um you know and when i'm talking about your love life it's about the intimacy it's about the person that you share your bed with it's about the person who you share your most inner thoughts with and this is going to be good the sun comes out in the second week second week is going to be a very good week first week and the second week is going to be a very good week it's just that the third week there is a lot of stuff that is going on the conflicts because the two last week have more of the energy of the conflict so you know just learn to deal with it learn to work around it and you're going to see that things are going to work out for most of the people who are dealing with the Aquarians, people, you're going to decide whether or not you will keep them in your life or you will say, you know, I don't need um, this sort of a situation in my life. So I'm saying goodbye and you're going to release them from out of your life. At the end of the day, um, fertility is here. Fertility is good. So um, a lot of you will be cultivating good positive energies in your life, which is extremely wonderful. And the, um, the unicorn Pegasus is going to help you earth sign people because the unicorn help and work with the earth sign people. And this is going to be extremely good and positive. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, remember to listen to your sun, moon and rising sign. Um, the energy vibration of the month is out. So go back and listen to the energy vibration of the month. Understand where you are. Understand the situation that is happening. Understand the transformation of what is happening in your life. And know that um, you are going to be positive, positively, positively um, healed in this month. It's going to be a good month. The sun is here twice, whatever you're deciding. And you're planning in this month. It's going to be good. The sun is here. Remember... Axe, Archangel, Metatron to place the orange coat of protection. I am saying um, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Until next year, toodle.